Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I recall, it has been a few days, that in the last episode, I foolishly sent level 1 people on a level 3 mission. Haha, ha. all laugh at me, very funny, lol lol lol. That's because we need deeds, because we don't have enough. We don't have any pictures either, but we need deeds because we were going to upgrade stuff. We want to upgrade stuff like the guild, which requires uh, pictures and those... What are these? Crests. But also we want to upgrade the blacksmith. Which requires a lot of deeds. Although the blacksmith is actually more upgraded than everything else. We have only have 5,000 uh, jeeps. So what I'm going to do. What we shall do. We'll go to the warrens. Which is still level 0. Now the warrens is very... Uh, like sharp, I suppose. It's the tunnels. It's got lots of swords and things lying around. It's not quite as bad as the wield, but I think what we'll do is we'll just throw together any old team, I guess. It's not going to be any of the people we sent on the last one, that's for sure. Uh, right, who's good at what? You're good at the back. You're good at the front. You're good at the back. You're good in... Uh, not very good. Let's take a highwayman, then. Or Holmesy. Ah, yeah, right. What have you got here? Crush is good. This is a stun, that's good. Uh, uh, activates riposte, which is pretty decent, and marks. And that's just a buff. Then we can... So let's do that. Let's put Holmesy here. Psycho or... Yeah, Miri can go here. Have we got any... Yeah. This this will work with the mark, because this is 60% damage versus mark. Then we can put Psycho at the front there. And we might as well take a healer. Despite being level 2. Now, I know that I was always talking about the A team, blah, blah, blah. I have mulled it over. And I have come to the conclusion that, in fact, having an A team versus a B to C team, etc. Is not really very valuable. A virtue chance. We don't really expect to stress them out, but again, I suppose we're not doing anything. It's not really very valuable to sort of have specific teams. Because no four people is good in every situation. Um, like... If the four people included a Plague Doctor, which we've got two of, they're gonna not going to be much good in the wield, except as maybe a backup healer to cure blights and bleeds, but they're not going to be able to do much damage, because a lot of stuff in the wield has already got... Um, you know, it's already got a lot, a lot of uh, resistance to that sort of thing. That's what we want. Stun resist on the healer, definitely. Then... Right, we don't have a... <clears throat> Oh, 15 heal skills. We'll do that instead of the other one. Yeah, that's definitely what we want. And then... I guess we try and avoid debuffs on the tank. And the tank doesn't need huge dodge because it's going to be tanking. Have you got a bleed skill at all? I don't think so. You've got a stun, though. Do you have a stun skill chance? No, but we could give you more HP to make up for the dodge. I mean, very slow, so we'll probably be last to go. Uh, which is interesting, but not necessarily a big problem. Do you have a bleed skill? No, 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 no. Do you have a bleed skill? I thought one of these was a bleed. Yes, you have got a bleed skill. So we will give the bleed skill chance to the dogman. Dog's dogman. To Miri there. And you can't take any of the rest, so that's fine. Excuse me. <coughs> Still recovering from this cold, which has left me choking and coughing and spluttering for the past like three three weeks. It's very pro very problematic. Um, Warren's short, so we only need maybe I'll take a food, but maybe also a couple of medicinal oibs because we can find stuff on the way. We'll take a couple of shovels and then a stack of torches. It's only a short mission. Let's take a, a stack and a half. That way, we don't necessarily run out. We might find some lying around, but we can always just go dark mode towards the end of it. Uh, also, it saves us some cash, and I think I won't... Uh, let's take a... No. Let's take a bandage, because we can get some good stuff out of certain curios, which will require a bandage to do so. But I don't think any of our characters at this point has anything that's likely to make them... Uh, 
interact with curios when I'm not ready. Quickly down there Except we've got all the right ones on. But perhaps we can slay them Battle heal faster. is probably slight. Oh, it does do a mark. Oh, it marks you. That's right. Yeah, we'll leave those on there. You haven't got any unlocked. You haven't got any unlocked. And you have got unlocked, but I don't think they're worth having because we've got Judgment, which is from the back. These two are from the back, and then these two are heals. And that one's from the front, so we can't use it. All right. Uh, that's a lot of scouting to begin with. Uh, where the heck are we? Here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me again. Okay. 100% of rune battles. Well, there is one here, which unfortunately means we're going to have to backtrack. It's not very far, so I'm not too worried about it. We can see a lot of stuff in between them, so we can decide where to go. The sack is empty. Well, why is it there? Bones. Yeah. Loot! Lootsman! 200 gold in a pile of skulls. That's my uh, new pirate metal band. Uh, we'll be playing at the O2 Arena in 2040. Uh, if not later. Right, Houndmaster first. Houndmaster Miri will go first. What should we do here? Now, these things are surprised, so we will get a complete turn before they do. Which means we have the opportunity to mark this. How much prot has it got? None. You've got 15 prot, but you've got a lot of damage. What can you do against... Oh, you mark as well. So you've got both of them. Ah. So your thing is going to be the, your own mark. So they would work together, but I think in that case... I will try and get a bleed on the thing with the most HP. I could deprop that, but I don't feel like the other benefits of doing that to that is uh, at all worthwhile. And we can actually try and stun this. We've got a uh, dim light already, which is my mistake. But again, at the same time, I don't really care. I think that can do um, a stress attack as well. So we'll try and wail away on this one basically as much as possible. Uh, you're not unholy, you're just humanoid, do not you? But we'll hit it anyway. And then you have a mark, and it activates Repost, which I think will just attack back when you get attacked, which is fine with me. Now we'll mark this target, ready for the next round when Houndmaster can use the Houndmaster thingy without waste. I say wasting. The Houndmaster's mark attack didn't seem to do enough, in my opinion, for an opening attack. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Maybe not in that situation, but that actually works out a lot better than I was anticipating it having done so. Uh, you're firing again, are you? Repost again? Yes. <coughs> oh, this cough. This cough, yo. So now we've got plus 60% damage versus marked, which is... Uh, oh, you. Oh. Again with this. It says mark target. That can't be right, because that... Is aimed at a, that's the target. I targeted you. Wait. I use this one, which marks me. <gasps> you fool! Uh, let's do it anyway. Although it does have minus twenty pro. Oh fuck it! Just kill this thing. We'll have to remember that the one that does that reduces protection also is the only one we have that marks because this one marks us. But. It marks you and activates repost, which actually, now I think about it, is really good. Because it marks you for an attack, which means you can basically draw an attack that would be aimed at anybody else. Or possibly cause um, an enemy that would normally do a specific attack to do one that would attack a marked target. That was, yeah, good. Resist the bleed, that's what we want to say. Yeah, bleed the corpse, because that happens all the time. Because... That, how long does this last? That lasts for ages! That's amazing. Uh, we can't really do much. Oh, that's everybody! Oh, yeah, alright. I'm down with that. So, good accuracy and a crit makes up for at least one of the trinkets that we, uh, that we gave one of our people here. Uh, I think, uh, probably a... Yeah, let's... I was thinking party heal, but that was sufficiently low that I wanted to try and get a Slightly better than that, if you don't mind. Heal off. Uh, yeah. Rush that. Good. As the enemy we took some more damage than I was anticipating, but considering how well we previously did against <laughs> uh, a level 3. I didn't take any keys. It wasn't locked, so I opened it. 
obviously. Uh, let's just move on. Pum -pum -pum -pum. We should use the torch before we go to the next room, but I don't know which one to take. Probably this way. There is a trap. Now that we've learned a little bit, we can probably engineer the next fight to... Um... Oh, I walked into it. I tried to let go in time, but I didn't let go in time. No Alright, I know it was careless. We didn't, uh, we didn't get bled, though. I knew about this fight. But you still get to go first, which is very upsetting. That is a bleed. I'm not sure whether to tank that bleed or use my only... Uh, my only bandage. Because that's going to get us some goods, which is kind of why we're here. Right. T minus 20 prop. Nothing has prop. Stress heal is not too worthwhile. I mean, we haven't gained any. We might do as a result of this particular enemy here. It's probably about time we started doing long missions so that we can try using the camp. That was really good. I'm glad we dodged that. If we start using the camp to get rid of the, the stress instead of sending them to you know, the, the places in town that do that. I'll do a parser heal just to keep everyone on top. That was actually three. Considering that's one to two and this is... You know, three to five. Getting that sort of 50% extra is really, really handy. Now, we could stun one. But not the one I want to stun. <coughs> it's the truth. I, I swear that I will get over this. Or we could try and do four to eight damage on two things, which will put them both into one-shot range. And you just still get a go. Uh, will it? 11. We could do 11 damage. Not with you. We get a knockback and a stun. I'd like to stun the one that does stress. Plus, it brings it into death range. Plus, it's healing. I know there's a knockback available on that, but I don't mind that it's at the back still. What I mind is that it's now not able to go. Uh, you have got a 4 to 7 damage, which means you can't kill that. You could kill that. You're going to take two more points of damage. So, if we can do something that does. Some damage, but not much damage. That would be great. Uh, I think we just rushed down this one. Oh, brilliant. A crit. Should have done that one in, shouldn't I? Didn't expect it. Bit of stress heal. Very worthwhile. <coughs> but uh, a zealous accusation will finish this one off. And that's what Northern Line would call a kill plus. Because we would kill that and do damage to that. It's um, extremely worthwhile. Why are you there? That's not where you're supposed to be. Is it because this... Yeah, moves you forwards. That's fine. Wow. Is that an accusation? No. But I think we're happy to be able to get a heal off here because you need more. Four? The party heal did three. That's fine. Just die. Alright, I think that went well enough. We managed to avoid the only stress attack that was sent our way. I'm kind of expecting a little bit more in the way of... Uh, yeah, that. That's exactly what I was expecting. Use it. Nom nom nom. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you two to eat. Because you've both taken the bleed damage. In fact, just eat as much as you will. Full. You? Not full. You might as well have some as well. We've got a full stack of food left. And sure. <coughs> I'll try and edit those out, but I can't promise anything. Right, I would like to do damage to everything, but I don't think I can. Prot. Prot, prot, prot. No prot. Human beast. Very well. Uh, a stun would be nice. A bleed could be good, especially on this one at the back. Let's try that. It's down to six already, plus a three-point bleed. So if we can keep it sort of not doing anything. Ah, you get a stun. Oh, but not in the right ones. Judgment. That would heal me, actually, and do 4 to 9 damage. We could kill this straight away. We did. Uh, we didn't need the heal, but we got some stress back for it. So now we have to deal with these things, which are basically just DPF. Uh, apparently they do blight. We didn't bring any anti-venom, but we have good resistance, apparently. So I'm just going to, you know, take that for... 
Let's try and stun this one. I know these two are basically interchangeable because they can both do everything from both positions. So it doesn't actually matter that this moves us forwards. If I can stun that one and not let it have a go. Oh, we couldn't. That would have basically lost uh, a lot of their opportunity to do damage. Uh, they lost it anyway, but... So this accusation is 4 to 8. So it wouldn't kill that one without a crit. But... If we can... S I'd like to basically reduce the amount of damage they do whilst maximising the amount of damage I do. So Stunning Blow is only going to do 2 to 3 damage, but it would reduce a lot of damage from that, like a third of their damage, basically. Unless I could just kill it outright, which I could. Like, will this Zealous Accusation be a kill plus? It could be. It was. Okay. So that has reduced it by removing that one rather than stunning that one, which I'm happy with. Uh, it's time for you to do real heals. I said real heals, not fucking... That definitely says 3 to 5, right? You've done 4 consistently. Especially considering the other one says 1 to 2. And has done 3. I should probably just keep using the party heal to be fair. You are now blighted, which is... It increases the Hound's Vigor for a short time. That's going to be useful at not right now time, I think. So these are buffs to us. We'll just keep using this. Well, we one-shot that. That's fine. I don't mind. Oh, that's only a one-point uh, thingy, so we'll just squish this. Yeah, perfect. Again, we have got a debuff. I'll cope with it. We've got a bleed stone. Plus 20% bleed still chance, which is you. Yeah, we've got 30%. Plus 20% is 50%. Yep, and they're different, so it will let me stack them. What is this? Okay. <laughs> Burn it. Use it. Ooh. That's probably given us scat. Did that just give you the Warren's Explorer perk quirk? It fucking did. That's amazing. I thought it would give us scouting, but no. Okay. Use a torch. Stat them properly. Uh, this way, I suppose. We know there's no battle in yon other room. Just shush. <laughs> oh, let's put you back. There's no real reason to. It's not the end of the world either way, but... His veins are on fire with passionate love. I don't think these leave corpses, so we just smite the shit out of them, I guess. Good. Bit of stress heal is always valuable. Let's get some heals in while we still can. Ah, oh, those are only twos, you see. There's me getting all cocky about having got a three. It wasn't a crit three. Stress, you say? Well, you resisted the stun, which means you can just squish the thing that owned you. Yeah, good. And then, not your go? Of course it's your go. Grave Nibble. It doesn't, doesn't have a, a cadence that I would expect from such a fearsome attack. A Grave Nibble. No loot, you fucking As victories mount, Right, don't walk so into the trap. Two will resistance. 60, 60, 90, 70. You. Thank you. Let's just pretend the first one we tried to disarm but failed anyway. Recordings of dull transactions. Yo, one man's dull transaction is another man's profit and loss. It's kind of dull. Ah. Thank you for scouting the trap before I walked full tilt into it. There's a lot of battles twixt rooms in this particular one. Miri, do it. Thank you, Miri. Psycho. Keep the torch up. You again. Good, you surprise them. Uh, it's double plus months of surprise with full light, which is something I hadn't realised in the previous episode when I was surprised by the single plus on uh, low light or dim light. We will rock you. Let's just believe this. It worked well for us last time. Gets it down to a range where at some point, once like you do this, move forwards. Uh, we can let's avoid you doing any damage. Actually, it's also worked last time. Yes, good. So that will bleed you down to two. Uh, another part of heal, if you don't mind. Thank you. Keeping us just on top of the the debuffs that we've had so far, basically. Actually, I would like to try and stun one of these because I'm quite confident we can't kill one in this round. So now only one of them is going to get any go at all. But they may get another go in the next round, but they would have had two goes in this 
in, in, in any other situation, so it's worthwhile. You do get another go. A, you missed, and B, you stressed probably the second least stressed person, which I'm happy with. You are bleeding again, and we haven't found anything to to use the bandage with, so I might just get used to use that. Uh, what are you on? Three, and you've got one left. Just kill it. I don't want it to do any more stress damage if I can avoid it. And we can heal for free when we leave, but when we leave, the stress stays with us, and we're nearly at the end, so... I'm going to consider HP at this stage to be worth slightly less uh, than, ooh, uh, than stress in terms of those. I guess let's heal you because you're bleeding. Five. Thank you. Could we use that accusation to get any decent out of this? We have to roll high or crit. We're certainly not on that one. Let's try and smite. Oh, it's our last go. We'll stun something since it's our last turn. If we had another character to play, you resisted it, you bastard. Then I might have not stunned it. But, or at least not tried to stun it. It didn't apparently work. Uh, yeah, this is. Look, it says three to five, and this says one to two. I know four is the like median of three and five. The mean of three and five, but. You don't have to be a dick about it, is what I'm saying. This is going to cost cost quite a bit of uh, bleed damage, I think, altogether. Yeah. I'm going to make you use this, because two per round is maybe pushing it a little bit. Uh, can I crush you to death? Probably. No, I can't hit you at all. Alright, let's sell this accusation and just get some damage spread out, so that these things are at least in range of death. Of course, you have this one at 1 HP, and this one, and you're bleeding and you're not, but okay. Now I'm bleeding. Well, we'll... Nope. <sighs> At least that makes up for that and then one. I guess you've not been yet, so you die. And then if you get to go ever again... Oh, I could actually heal myself. And let this thing die naturally, which is going to happen. And then you... Don't have anything that you can really do. So... Excellent. We shall walk on. Push on to the task's end. Stop bleeding. I think it was right to have used the bandage when we did. There's still a chance. Oh, light level. Oh, it's okay. Um, there's still a chance that we find something we could have used it on. I think these things are just worth killing. Like straight away. Yeah, perfect. That's really good. Crush. What? Yeah, dodge that. You, Miri, are doing well. This Joker at the front, who is Holmesy. Holmesy! <sighs> See me after class. Your veins are on fire. I think you'll find that. Not actually, it just seems that way. Don't have an anti venom. I'll tell you what, the Plague Doctor in this situation would have been good. I should probably write that down in my copybook now, because... Ooh. It's worth a try, right? Um... That's truth. What's all this about? You ain't got no accuracy whatsoever. And you're marked. And you're bleeding. <laughs> God, you've got everything wrong with you. Okay. Uh, stress heal doesn't really help. Can only do you two anyway. We could guard this chap, or we could just beat the shit out of him. Impressive. Yeah. Miri's done really well. Actually made a net bonus on stress. Somehow this unit is de-stressing itself fully over time. And I'm hoping that this is the last battle. And if it is... <coughs> my throat. Seriously. If it is the last battle, which it will tell us, then we will go to the next room and see what we win. It is. So we'll continue adventuring. There could be one in between, but I don't think it's going to kill us, even if there is. Actually, that was uh, actually probably beneficial. There is heirlooms in here. Glad we came. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Flesh, flesh, eat, eat, whatever. Something in here? There may be something without a battle, which would be sweet. There is not. We will go home. Yeah, Miri's um, amazing ability to heal, stress heal itself. The Miri unit, the it there was not supposed to be quite so dehumanizing. How do I make this go fast? Whatever. We've got a lot of stuff is what I'm saying. Hard noggin, stun resist, nice. You've got Warren's Phobe and Warren's Scrounger. But a disease resist is good, so you can come to the uh, the wield with us. So we made a net benefit, a, a net All profit. Oh, truth, they're still not completely healed. In a net profit on uh, thing. I could not on Mirror's stress, which is really good. Vivaphonics refuses to leave the gambling hall. It's no longer paranoid. That may cost us another unit of, you know, the price of doing it for another week. But it also means we can't take Doug on a mission, but that's that's okay. Dutch is and <laughs> still pretty stressed out. This is no longer irrational, which is the first time I've ever heard of that. And Pete is also... So everyone has basically slightly more than... Lost slightly more than half stress, apart from Viz, who obviously has to have a 69 in everything they do. Okay, well we've got a bit more cash than we left with, which is beneficial, but we've also got a lot of deeds. And as I was saying about the A team... Uh, no, this is not deeds. I don't want an A team anymore. Ed is the only level 2... Uh, okay, Ed and D are level 2, so let's... I can't reorder you. Whatever. Um, we can upgrade our armor. Fan the flames. And should. We are raising an army. So what I'm going to end up doing is having people at level 2 mostly because their armor's at level 2. I do need to upgrade the roster actually because I've got a lot of people to put names to. Ah. <laughs> what did I just do? Okay, whatever. Um, we're going to end up with people at level 2 with armor and uh, and weapons at level 2. And that's going to sort of be the A-team, which I'm still trying to get away from, but simply because we've only got so much money that we end up sort of preferring certain people. Like, D's healing abilities are getting better and better, especially as we get these trinkets. Well, maybe not that one, but 30% heals received is just as good as, like, 30% heals output, except for in one direction, right? Um... We're going to accidentally sort of naturally gravitate towards having a few people that we prefer to take, and therefore those will be the people that we've spent the money on. And then it's sort of going to snowball. So I'm going to try and spread out the cash. Uh, but we need to get deeds again, because I just spent them all, and I forgot that I need to get more heroes. So in the next episode, we will go to... Drumroll, please. Oh, it's gone up to level 1 already. Probably back to the Warrens until we can afford to do... Uh, maybe we'll go to the Wield, actually. This has actually changed. Which is there's a veteran cove mission. We could do a, a medium length level one mission, or we could go back to the wheels, which apparently has fucking deeds in it. But uh, bugger if it ever actually does. But you get four for the reward. Okay, brilliant. We need eight, so hopefully we'll get some more on the way. But I don't know who we'll take, so we'll decide this at the start of the next episode and until then bye